Test drive time again here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today, the 1979 Pontiac Trans Am with a matching number 403. This one here, power steering, power brakes, no AC. What we're going to do is take it down the road for a test drive. Point out flaws, chips, scratches at the end. Throughout the test drive, I'll check, see how the brakes feel, how does it steer, what happens when I floor it. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. Be sure to go there, check it out. Now let me know in the comments below what you think about this video. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, checking out the panels. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? All right, little spots there. Left ashtrays in the ash tray. <laughs> just ashes I'm gonna dump it out though detail guys I'm gonna have to give it to them now what are y'all doing pretty clean in there the seats look good back seat not bad let's say it needs a headliner half of it's missing I'll go ahead and start it up Okay, so this one does start up pretty well. Turn signals. I don't think that light's flashing there. Right side, no, neither side, but I can hear it. Engine temperature is up, oil pressure is up. Showing you the mileage, I'm showing 81, 757. We've got gas, but we're gonna stop and get a little more. Looks like we're charging, does the blower motor work? It does work. It cuts on. No clock there is working. Wow, that's cool. Good deal. So does the tack. Wipers. Yeah, they are working. A little switch is messed up on the window, but I got it to where it's going up and down now. What's funny is I'm pushing up, and to make it go down, you just push it in. You don't push it down. It works pretty good. What about this side? Yeah. Driver's side's a lot better. It's just a little switch there is acting funky. All right, place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It does. Good deal. All right, let's take off down the road and see how she runs a drive. What's up? It's test drive time. You know I had to go get a new hat today. The black one, everybody was saying, you gotta have a black one. Oh, he wears the tan one too. Who am I? <laughs> I got the Maple Motors gear on too. This is an old school shirt. Uh, we do sell shirts on the channel. Um, my wife usually helps me handle all that. We give out free gifts and stuff with it. But we might end up taking a break from it because it's become such a hassle. It's just crazy. Somebody will order a shirt and about two days later, where's it at? And then my wife's getting overwhelmed. She's also pregnant now. Here we go getting ready to uh, take off down the road. I just drove next door to the lot because the lot had so many people on it. I wasn't able to get my video done. And it's just a lot easier to go next door sometimes. Let's roll. Speedometer is working and coming up on the dash here. Tight steering. Look at them. 
so far so good we got good engine temperature great oil pressure it's sitting at 35 and of course i touch it it goes to 40. gas gauge is almost on e so that's a must hey guys don't get me wrong i'm not gonna stop selling shirts but i may do it in a different way here soon i've got a large amount right now still so you'll still be able to purchase them for a little while but this will be a limited run i'll probably won't make this design anymore I'll probably go to a different one so get them while you can because I'll be going to a different platform and letting other people handle it for me for a while. Okay. Again, we're going to pull in here, get a little bit of gas, and we'll see if it works. I'll be right back. Good look at these bikes real quick. Okay, we got some gas, $21, about five gallons of 93. Spring in, that one's good, okay. Yeah. See if the gauge works, it was close to E. It's already up, half a tank. Drag on the battery there. All right. Time to roll.
go. I had to take the hat off, put y'all on my head. But I got y'all on a camera up here so I can see what's going on. So far, so good. We've got uh, 40 pounds of oil pressure. Now we're looking at 180 on the temp. She's running good. She's actually pretty smooth, easy to drive. And again, guys, I'll explain more on the t-shirt situation at the end. It's just gonna be a limited run here. And we'll take a little bit of a break until after the baby. But pick them up while you can. I'm ready to rock and roll, man. I'm on, I am on a roll today, thank God. I can get y'all four videos out now. Three of them are Trans Ams. How about that? Woo! That's how, that's how you do it. I had to wear the hat, get my get up on. She runs and drives good. A little bit of an exhaust leak. I can hear that up front. Hook that kick down up. Still got decent power. Speedometer doesn't seem 100% right because we're only running about 30 right now and it says we're going 40. So we're about 10 mile an hour off. Oh goodness, that old house fell down. Oh, they got a bulldozer on the side. <laughs> Getting all them wakeboard boats out. It just snowed here last night too. Did y'all get a little bit of snow? Bump in the road? Right here. Not bad. Now this one's still got that right pull as we're going down the road. I think we're checking out good. There we go. Give me one more run. deal coming on down through Brian's Motorsports if you haven't checked them out they just did a Trans Am and put I'm talking one of the nastiest sets of wheels I've ever seen on a Trans Am I loved it he put a big stereo system in it you see they work on everything they get the new Corvettes they got the old school stuff they got the trucks check them out Brian's Motorsports.com you can check them out on Instagram TikTok Facebook. Just look them up. Let me know what you think. They're worth checking out. I just wanted to see what they had down here. Again, they don't pay me to shout them out. They're, they're family. Just like Maple Motors, all family. Every one of us. You can talk to any of us up there too. I know a lot of people call and they'll ask for me because of these videos, but I'm never in the office. So you'll never end up getting a hold of me. It's kind of rare. Like when I go back, I'm gonna go in, download this footage and grab another camera and start another video. So while that footage is downloading, I'm already working on another video. I've been doing it like nine years now. I've got a system. <laughs> this one's checking out. We've got good water temperature. We've got good oil pressure. You see what you get, guys. This is how the car will arrive to your house. Give us a call if you have any other questions, and thanks for watching. All right, guys. We're going to be walking around this ride looking for chips, scratches, rust, and dents. And uh, again, earlier when I was telling you about the shirts, we're gonna run this limited run. Uh, me and my wife, you know, she's pregnant. We're getting ready to have a, another child. I want to uh, finish this run. 
maybe a year later i'll order a bunch more there will be other ways to get a hold of our shirts but pick them up while you can here we go we'll get started in the back a little scuff there cracks in the back bumper Scuffs, chips, jams look good. They painted the trunk, but it looks good, not bad. Coming on down with the lid. And down the side here. Ties look good. Open over our fender, you got a dimple here. Chips. Chips. A little rust at the bottom of the door. Door's kind of hanging a little bit there too, ain't it? Little spot there. Chips. Chip here. Paint run. Scratch. Back to midsection. Scratch there. lines in the paint there back window looks good I think I got this on widescreen still that's okay what do y'all think you like widescreen better reviewing the chips and scratches chips on the mirror there and your trim water spots little scuffs in the bunker. How's the shadow fall? I guess I'm in the way. Let's go to the back. Got some rust bubbles in the bottom here too. Tires look good. Got some rash on that wheel. Chips. A little rust there in the corner. Chips up here in the front. Cracks. And chips all on this piece here.
little spots popping up there on top. A little fading here on the trim. Stuff there. Little spot there. T tops themselves look pretty good over your front window. Well, we made it around the outside of this one. Let's go ahead and check out our interior. Buzzer works. What cracks there? Pieces of trim there. Kind of deteriorate. Any spots? Huh. Carpet's a little ripped up. Seat itself looks pretty good. Looking around in the back. Headliner. Missing fabric. All the way to about right there. Visor's a little bent. Lid there is kind of disconnected in the back. Those start up good. Fasten your seatbelt light. Good oil pressure, good engine temperature right here in the middle. Looks like all of our gauges are working. They're trying to work. <laughs> Power locks, a little weak.
coming on down with the hood. It is bent. A little bit there in the middle. Somebody yanked down on it too hard and bent the hood. You can see the crease on the side. You got some cracks right here. Chips. Little spots on these uh on these graphics. Spot there. That's been cut out. Usually a bit there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did. Check us out, maplemotors.com. Look at the detailed pictures. Give us a call, 615-822-4444, and beware of the scammers. You can see most of those scammers only have like five followers. That's not us. Not us at all. I want you to call me, 615-822-4444. You can talk to us directly and skip all those people. If you see them scammers on here impersonating us, report them. That helps us out, and that's the only way I can beat them. Just me reporting them doesn't do anything. I've noticed. I try. <laughs> if you do want some of that merchandise, we got it on maplemotors.com. Go there, order it now. We'll get it out to you. All right. I'll head back to the lot. Thanks for watching.